If you want to produce great wine, you have to start with the very best land. I found this land uh, where Harlan Estate is in 1984. Uh, the land was a forest uh, and woodland. Uh, I joined him about a year and a half later as he had started clearing trees and, and starting to map out, lay out the vineyards. He developed early on an understanding that great wines taste like they come from somewhere very specific. The idea was to create a first growth of California. My perspective of time totally changed. It was the trip to, to Europe seeing what had been done in wine growing, especially in Burgundy since the Roman times, hundreds of years, seeing what they've done in, in Bordeaux especially. And so I put together a 200 year plan. It was about building something for generations instead of how we're going to earn uh, the most amount of money in the shortest period of time. Uh, we made nine vintages before we actually took the wines to market. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we had a body of work we were proud of. And the first three vintages we elected not to even release. We bottled them, we labeled them, but we never sold them. And finally, in 1996, we, uh, we generated our first nickel of revenue. It was about another eight years to profitability, so it's a very long, involved process. Bill talks about the return on life rather than the return on investment. Aristotle came the closest. He talks about not happiness, but really about flourishing. And flourishing is about doing what we love, having a positive attitude, and working on something with greater meaning than any of us as individuals, and hopefully on something that will last beyond our lifetime. The most important facet for us is to produce a wine of great character and great longevity. We hope the people that drink this wine someday will enjoy it in the same spirit that we feel today in making this wine.